So in this example, multiplication, it's very important, Amanda, that you notice the difference between multiplication and addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction, we can apply addition and subtraction only when the radicands were exactly the same. Only when we did that. Only when they're exactly the same. Um, however, the first step that we always do with addition and subtraction is simplify. We always want to simplify our radicals first. In this case, we see we're taking the cube root. Can I simplify the cube root of 5x squared? No. Can I simplify the cube root of 2x? No. So therefore, now I'm going to apply my operation. Now, unlike addition and subtraction, multiplication, you can only multiply numbers times numbers, and then the radicands times the radicands. So as I mentioned, I'm going to multiply 2 times negative 3. And then here, multiply the radicands. You can multiply on the inside. Do you guys remember when I did this on the first problem I did? I showed you 5x. I said you could break that up into 5 times the square root of x, right? So what I'm saying is if you're multiplying two of them, you can multiply that as the product under the same radical. So in reality, that's times the cube root of 5. You can only multiply 5 times 2, and then x squared times x. Well, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 times the cube root of 10x cubed. Yes, well, I can't take the cube root of 10, but can I take the cube root of x cubed? Yes. Yeah. So my final answer would be negative 6x cube root of 10. Okay. Now you you saw my answers before. <laughs>